and welcome back. I am meal prepping today and it's noon right now. Solo has the kids out of the house because I was working a little this morning editing and I was working at a park in my car and then I came home to upload and he said I need to get these kids out of the house. So they're gone but I think it's really nice outside. I think he may come back and pick me up. So I'm going to try to get one meal done quick before he comes back. Maybe two, I don't know. And then I'll probably finish meal prepping later on today. So we'll see how this goes. I try to fit it all in one day for the week, uh, like five meals at least. And sometimes that doesn't always happen. Sometimes I try to time myself, see how fast I can get it done. Sometimes it's just fitting it in during the day to make sure we have meals. But however it happens, meal prepping helps me so much. It just makes dinner time easy, healthier, and we love it we love it if you've been around here you know that i sing the praises of meal prepping like once a week <laughs> a lot let's get started i'm gonna try a low carb taco soup quick it looks easy and i have some ground beef thawed so should go fast it is a two-step process why do pressure cookers and slow cookers have two-step processes they shouldn't but it would probably also help me if I cooked a lot of ground beef like some of you do ahead of time. Uh, that would make it one step on the day that I'm prepping anyway. Uh, anyway, let me go cook this meat. Okay, we just got back. We ended up leaving. We left town. We went to Iowa. Left the state. <laughs> we went to a state park. It's about an hour away. The edge of Iowa and Nebraska. It's beautiful, especially in the fall. And we just went over there for a little while. We just wanted to get outside. So hike some trails. We had some fun. Found a pond, saw a lot of frogs. We had a good time. Then we stopped by an apple orchard. The stand, we didn't pick apples or anything. Got some of that, got apples, got some cider. The cider from those places is just unbelievable. Now we're back. It is after five. They missed naps and they snacked a lot too. So they're not super hungry, but I don't want them going to bed late because of the nap missing element. Solo has a lot of work now, so he's off to work. Um, I think I'm just gonna finish up that taco stew soup that I started. I'm starting with four, I'm gonna compete with a lot of voices here, but you guys are used to that around here. Starting with four pounds of cooked ground beef, it's still smoking. I just reheated it a little. And we're gonna throw all our ingredients in this good old instant pot. Two tablespoons of minced onion flakes. Makes it real simple. Four teaspoons of minced garlic. I went very generous on the garlic. Those were some heaping teaspoons. Four tablespoons of chili powder. We had to bring in some lawn furniture because of a project we're doing outside. And boy, these girls just have some renewed passion for the living room <laughs> with the lawn chairs in there. And Seth's rubbing a cracker in his hair. Ooh. <laughs> Four teaspoons of cumin. Of course, we're doing this large family style, and I found the recipe online. This is not my own recipe, and I will try to link it, and it will be half the size of this, so I'm doubling it. Next up is four of these small cans of Rotel, or diced tomatoes with green chili. It is smelling really good. Next, the recipe calls for 32 ounces of beef broth. I have this one in my fridge that is open, but it doesn't feel like it much has been used. It's pretty heavy, so I'm gonna do this, plus a full new one that Mike is getting me from the basement storeroom, and we'll just go with that. It feels mostly full. We like to make our own beef and chicken broth. I just don't have homemade, and so I had plenty of this in my emergency storage. And here's the second box. Boy, this meal is really easy, because now I'm gonna just set it on soup for five minutes and then let it slow release for 10. So 15 minutes after it builds up pressure, of course. It says to add salt and pepper to taste. I can't remember if I've even made this one before. I printed it off and taped it on the inside of a cupboard, which is, usually means I liked it. <laughs> Let me taste it. Okay, I'm gonna add just a little salt and pepper and then start it. Do you like my play kitchen wooden spoon? Our dog ate the real one. <laughs> Puppies. This meal is actually very fast. I can see why I liked it in the past, especially once you have the ground beef cooked. So if I was preparing this meal, prepping it, and we weren't eating it tonight, I would have just covered it, gotten to this step, covered it, and put it in the fridge, probably in the pressure cooker pot, and then pulled it out on the day we were ready, and 
put it in the pressure cooker and cooked it. Now we're gonna add something at the end that will make it very good. And it is gonna stay low carb, so that's a bonus. While that's cooking, I'm gonna try to bust out another meal here since the kids are cooperating with me. I am going to make a very simple butter chicken kind of recipe. I, I'm saying kind of because it's not really authentic. I am just doing a couple of cheater steps. So normally I would use chicken thighs, I would cube them up and I would cook them in butter. Because we're just prepping it and I just want it to go in the fridge so I can cook it later, I am just throwing in chicken breasts because that's all I have. Couldn't find chicken thighs at the store the last two times I was there. And then I threw in eight or seven large chicken breasts because that's the rest of what I had in a bag. And I'm just gonna add the butter to the pot. So normally I would cook the chicken, like I said, in a lot of onion in the butter first. So do that <laughs> in chicken thighs too. So cube up a bunch of chicken thighs, like uh, 12 of them if you're doing this size recipe and then cook them in butter and onion with onion. But let's skip to the butter and throw the onion in and do the cheater way. Okay, I put in ten, 10, excuse me, tablespoons of butter and I'm gonna throw in this whole onion that I chopped up small. Oh, I guess I'm gonna need new two hands. So obviously I run the risk of the onion not being very soft. It won't taste quite as fabulous, but to be honest with you, I have done this cheater way before a couple times and we still liked it. It was still very good. This meal is a winner at our house and if I have to do it the cheater way, it's better than no way. Okay, there it all is. I am going to mix the rest of the sauce in this jar. Now normally if I had chopped up that chicken and sauteed it, I would just mix the sauce right into it because it would be soft and, but right now these are frozen so that's not gonna work. And I want it mixed before it goes in there or I just want it mixed together. So we'll mix it up in here and pour it over top. We started with two cans of tomato sauce. So two cans is three cups and we're also doing three cups of heavy whipping cream. Yum, can you tell how amazing this meal is gonna be? Oh, I happen to have just three cups left in there. Okay, I will write this recipe in the description box below. Of course you can half it. And I'm going to write it the correct way, not the cheater way. So you're gonna put in to this sauce, we're gonna add two tablespoons of minced garlic, two tablespoons of that ginger, three teaspoons of chili powder, three teaspoons of cumin, and six teaspoons of garam masala. I am just going to whisk this mix, I was gonna say this mess, <laughs> whisk this together. We are cooking with a lot of the same ingredients today. It's about to get cooler weather next week and this stuff will be really good. Okay, and then I'm gonna pour it over my chicken. Like I said, usually I could just mix it right in with it. And then on the day we cook it, I'm just going to stick this pressure cooker right into the machine. I have two of them, so I'll cover this and put it in the fridge, and on that day, I will cook it on high pressure for 12 minutes, maybe 15, since I'm doing big chicken breasts, but I normally do 12, and I think I did that last time, even though I let, put in chicken breast frozen, so I'll shred it up. The pieces of chicken thighs are better than chicken breast shredded up, but it's still good, guys, it really is. The flavors are still there, and we'll eat that on brown rice. I can't believe this, but my taco soup's not done yet, and the other one's together so fast, I actually have time to prep another meal, so I'm gonna try to do the salmon here. I like these really big bags from Aldi. Actually, they're not my favorite. I like the Sam's Club frozen salmon better. They're just a lot more expensive. So for our family, this is a really affordable way to do salmon steaks, and that's the two big bags from Aldi. So I'm gonna put them in these pans and make a marinade to go on top, and we'll bake it later. I ended up using this extra little pan too. I sprayed the pan first. These things are frozen solid. These fillets, steaks, what do you call them when they're like this? I don't know. And I'm gonna try a new thing to do with them that I've never done before. And it's gonna be so good. I'm gonna salt and pepper them first though. The marinade I'm gonna do is equal parts lemon juice and olive oil. I do a lot of fish with equal parts lemon juice and butter. So I'm just gonna try this, try something new. And I'm gonna add in about, maybe equal parts chopped cilantro. This cilantro is on the edge. It's almost done. Yeah, I'll do, I'm gonna do a third of a cup of all of that and see if it's enough. So 
So we tried to tiny chop up oh, just one bunch of cilantro and washed it. My son did it for me. He washed it first, so it's kind of sticky. And now we'll do the lemon juice and, all, and olive oil. I'm always too lazy to get out my stand, so I do everything one-handed or get help. And it's kind of awkward. Why don't I just get out my stand? My kids are all playing a computer game together. That's why they're quiet. Okay, I was going to say every once in a while somebody catches the baby from doing something dangerous. So we're all kind of watching him together. Okay, this is some fancy olive oil that somebody gave us a whole box of and we love it. It's great, but it takes forever to pour. I could not make you endure that. I think I'm going to have to double my sauces here. I'm going to keep the same amount of cilantro and add more olive oil and lemon juice. And 30 minutes later, we're still pouring. I do not know what the science behind just doing these simple things. Obviously, it's not hard, these meals I make. And they don't take a ton of time to prep, but just knowing they're done makes us eat them instead of scrounging for something else or getting some fast food or feeling stressed out at dinner time. So just these simple steps ahead really work. I don't know why. Maybe it's a mental thing. It certainly is worth the time I put in once a week to prep them. Finally, gosh, I had to give a whole speech there. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna pour this over my salmon that has already been salt and peppered. It smells good. Let's see, does it pour well? Yeah, not bad. Here's how it looks now. On the day I bake it, I'll bake it at 400 for 12-ish minutes, a little more, a little less maybe. And it will be totally thawed by the time we bake it because I'm going to put it in the fridge now. Even if we do it tomorrow, it'll be thawed. So if you wanna see the end product and if I would do this again, because this is a first for me and I can't taste test it for you now, but if you wanna see the end product on Friday, I think of this week, I'm doing a collab with some ladies and showing what we're having for dinner. So I'll show you the end result of each one of these meals, I think, on, in that video on Friday. So check that out. See if we were happy with the results. Okay, so it sat for 20 minutes instead of 10, but that's pretty awesome. I got two other meals done. In the meantime, that's what's awesome about it. By the way, the day we eat these, I mean, you'll see what we eat them with when I show those dinners. Sorry, that thing is loud now, but probably brown rice and a vegetable. I got distracted there for a minute, but I'm ready to finish off my taco soup. I have problems. And now I remember why I liked it so much, guys. Time to stir in two blocks of cream cheese and one cup of heavy whipping cream. Oh yeah. All right, got the two blocks in there and one cup of heavy whipping cream. I'm gonna stir in that goodness. Get it melted and I'll show you at the end. Here is one good looking bowl of that low carb taco soup. If you were eating carbs, it'd probably be really good with taco chips on top. We're gonna add avocado on top. It doesn't really even need cheese and sour cream because of the cheese and cream I put in it. <laughs> I basically only have two meals left that I really wanted to prep, so I will show you those tomorrow because they're mainly Solo's domain. They're gonna be good, but he'll have more time for that tomorrow. So when I come back, I'll have a different outfit, hopefully. My mom mode shirt should be gone. Update, it was actually better with cheese and sour cream. Yes, I know that is a lot of cheese and sour cream, but you're missing the beans or rice or whatever you would have if it was carb filled. And that helped a lot. It also helped a little with the spice. We are continuing on with the meal prep. Solo made this dengu. I forgot to film it. He did it with beef. A lot of times we have it vegetarian, so forgot to film the process. I'll link that down below, an old one. Solo made this one tonight, and he is going to prep one other meal. The dog's playing with a, pl a cup here. <laughs> but he's gonna prep one other meal, and then we'll have our five meals. We're just gonna eat this one first, though. Today is actually Monday, it's our day off, so between the meals we made the other day and this, and what else we're prepping. <laughs> Sure, thank you, Tori. And then uh, the leftovers it provides. The busy school days and work days for us, Tuesday through Friday, we'll all have a prepped meal. So it worked out pretty good this week. At least we'll have some very simple things on the days that we really need it. And we've cooked the days we had more time. All right, next up is a whole lot of chicken tenders, a whole bag of them. I think it was eight pounds, something like that. And Solo's about to work his magic. We're gonna marinate them. And that is the meal prep part. We'll bake them or grill them later. Uh, make a sauce here. To marinate this uh, chicken breast, uh, the chicken tender size is 
to put on the grill. They are frozen right now, so I'm marinating them frozen, so I, it'll buy me some time in the fridge. I, I could do it in a couple of days, sometimes even three days when I start out with frozen. But anyway, so I'll do liquid amino, which is uh, the same as soy sauce, right? Only better? Basically. <laughs> Basically? Okay. Why is it better than soy sauce? It's confusing. It's like soy sauce. Let's do that. I got myself some garlic. Like I do. You eyeball it. Always eyeball it. Lemon pepper. Oh. That's a lot of chicken, babe. That's a <laughs> lot of chicken. And then I got some. Fancy oh, olive oil. Fancy olive oil. <laughs> Good luck, it pours very slow. <laughs> It was very slow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but no, it's good enough. I filmed half a video of myself trying to pour olive oil. Okay. <laughs> Last but not least, I'm gonna go for this uh, apple honey rub. It's a trigger apple honey rub here. We've showed it many times. I've shown this thing many times. I hope it's not full of sugar because no, it's not. Lot. A good marinade for that chicken. It's a lot of chicken. It's just should feed our family for five days. Probably won't. It work. won't. <laughs> it will be. So I mix it up. One a good meal, bit a little leftovers. To get it even. This is the easiest meal prep ever, but we still gotta kinda cook it. I gotta so. still grill it, but at least it buys me a few days when it's And it'll taste better because it was marinated. Exactly. So the nice thing is that all I gotta do is just fire that grill up when I come in. And, and dinner's on dad. And it's just a few minutes and it's done. These things are really good on the grill too. They are, I love them. I tried to find chicken thighs. They're hard to find thighs right now. Thighs are good. I, They're really good. part of the chicken. Are you gonna run out of sauce there? No, I don't think so. Have I bought this thing, babe? <laughs> Trust the eyes. So oh, we have two more. <laughs> we have two more lids. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, you're just making stuff up now. <laughs> We're tired. Mm -hmm. It's the end of the weekend. A holiday weekend. <laughs> it's Columbus Day. Oh. <laughs> they tore the starches down, but yet still took the day off. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know it was Columbus Day. We made it through this whole day. We teach about Columbus in our homeschool, but we give both sides of the story. History. You can't change history. It is what it is. That's it's true. brutal sometimes. Often. It is. There's always good and bad. But it is what it is. It is history. <laughs> what we can change is today. That's true. And try our best to shape tomorrow in a positive way. <laughs> that was very inspirational, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> and look at that. Ta da! Wow. When it gets on the grill, it tastes really good. All right, guys, we hope we inspired you to meal prep a little. I know. I'm you should hold that chicken up to your face for a good thumbnail. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Uh, thanks for watching today, guys. I'm sure we'll be back next week with more meal prepping. We sure do that a lot. I don't know. Oh, in a hey. week or two. I don't always like it, like I've said. Because it. Today wasn't very painful. It comes in <laughs> inconvenient times sometimes. But I'm always grateful that we did it. Always. Because it makes the week go a lot better and we save a lot of money from eating out. Right. <laughs> See you guys later. See Bye. You guys. Adios. <laughs>